The world needs you. How can I contribute to the planet? How can I step into the highest embodiment of myself? Know that you, among several people on your planet, many, many people on this planet, are all asking themselves this question. And it is your embodiment of your highest self and your seeking of your personal truth that will provide the allowing and the permission for each individual on this planet to do the same. Do not be afraid if the outside circumstances do not meet what you feel internally. There are several imbalances and injustice, injustices on this planet which you perceive and may be incongruent with the frequency that you hold within your own mind. The reason for this contrast is free will. Free will has been allowed for each individual, each being, to fully express the version of the Creator which they want to see embodied. Each individual is unique and is not to be generalized by their human characteristics, but rather to be taken as a measure of the actions that they commit on this earth. These actions, when summed up to a whole, are the vibrational frequency of an individual and their soul. To empower each individual is to empower oneself, asserting one's free will with respect to others' free will, is the only way to ensure that fear and control are not widespread throughout the civilization. A civilization that is mutually empowered with the aspect of compassion cannot be controlled through fear and division. Each individual sees for themselves that each other self is in fact a version of themselves. And with compassion, we look at our other selves and their misgivings and see that it is merely a stage along their evolution. We must not generalize and classify each other by human characteristics. We must look to see the unifying principle of oneness that is consciousness in all individuals. We must respect each other's free will if there is to be a free society. Each individual soul is unique and has a purpose for coming into existence. Right now is the perfect place and the perfect time to accept yourself as you are and begin to share your light. For others to feel inspired and awakened, it is you that must create the catalyst for their inspiration and awakening. You do this by way of being a source of joy, acceptance, empowerment, expansion, and creation. This planetary civilization is not just connected through our modern technology, but by vibrational resonance. Each interaction you have with every single individual sends a ripple out into the collective and alters slightly that individual's perception of the outside world. Knowing this, you can choose in each interaction, no matter how small, to be a source of light, to practice seeing other selves as yourself. Be encouraged in the pursuit of your theme that you are capable of awakening in a circle of radiant light all of those around you. There is a large portion of your planetary brothers and sisters awaiting the permission of your awakening to activate theirs. It begins with you and your choice to envision a reality of truth to see that reflected in the mirror around you. In time, the outside world, Maya, will faithfully reflect the state of your inner being. Your vision as the creator will always be beyond the tangible and evident as this is the nature of the evolution of consciousness, the leading edge of experience, continually evolving past the boundaries of its previous self. In essence, the act of envisioning takes one beyond the present reality and to the edge of a new horizon, exposing the limits of the previous container and pushing beyond all that was previously known. Individuals choosing to embody this must accept and understand that the mirror of reflection shifts and takes place throughout time, but that the envisioning process is beyond time and is the precursor and the catalyst 
for all change. Give yourself permission to find fulfillment and purpose here now and see that this decision is, in and of itself, one of the greatest gifts you can offer to those around you.